Hi guys, my name is Megan from the blog WilsonHomsa.com and today I want to show you how to do the hug hold in a Sally baby wrap. This is my six month old son and I also have a toddler and I am very very busy. We live on a homestead, I can a lot of our family's food for the year. Right now I am in the thick of canning season. We have a really big garden, we have chickens, I do all of our housework and laundry and I cloth diaper and I ran my business from home. So I do a lot of things that I wouldn't be able to do if I didn't baby wear. So he has taken most of his naps on me in some sort of a wrap or carrier or sling or something for his entire life. He is about six months old now and he still absolutely loves to be carried, which I love because for one, I can get a lot of stuff done and also it just feels so nice to have him right on me and know that he's safe and I can just look at his little face whenever I want to and I love it. The Solly wrap is probably my second favorite wrap. I really like the boba wrap because it's stretchy. I don't get too overheated in it, but it's also a little more sturdy than the Solly wrap. The Solly is very stretchy, which I love, and it's very lightweight, so it makes it like perfect for summer. We are just starting to come out of summer, so it's been really, really hot in the 90s a lot of days. So I've been absolutely living the Solly wrap for those really hot days. But because it's so thin, I found that it's it can rip. Mine hasn't yet, but my friend has a Solly wrap that's a little bit older and it has some little rips in it just because it's really quite thin. I am a little bit more careful with the Solly wrap. I make sure I don't go near any wire fences or anything that can rip it. But other than it being a little thinner and maybe a little easier to rip, I absolutely love it. It's very easy to wrap, it's really easy to work with, and it's sturdy enough that if you get it wrapped tight enough, your baby will stay in it for as long as you need them to. I will link my baby wearing playlist down below. I have all kinds of videos on how to wrap Moby wraps and bubble wraps, and I'm gonna be doing some videos on how to use a sling and some woven wraps and stuff like that, so I will link the playlist down below if you guys wanna see how to do any other kinds of wraps or slings. But let's get right into this Solly wrap tutorial. wrap. It is the camo color, which I love. This is totally my color. I am a little bit obsessed with mustard yellow and camo colored stuff. So, so far wraps are my favorite way to carry my babies. They just feel the most secure and the most comfortable out of all of the carriers that I've tried. And a wrap is just basically a really long piece of fabric. And another thing that I really like about the Sally wrap is that it has a pocket on one of the ends. So I can put a binky and my phone and whatever I need to carry around. If I'm out and about, I'll put my car keys in here. It's really handy. I love it. Especially since women's jeans don't really have the best pockets which is annoying, so I don't always have somewhere to carry my phone or whatever I have with me, so that pocket is amazing. So to start tying the wrap, you're going to find the center. And thankfully, most wraps have a tag at the very center, which is so helpful for finding it. Otherwise, it would be quite a bit more difficult. But you'll just find the tag that says Solly Baby. And then I'm just going to put it on my stomach, right below my breasts. And I like to bunch it up like this, just in even bunches, and then put it on my stomach. It's just a lot more comfortable for me putting it on. I know a lot of people put it on like this first but I'm not a fan of that. It kind of hikes up my shirt or whatever, and I'm just not a fan of it. But you can do it whatever way feels best to you. So I'm gonna put this tag centered on my stomach. It's kind of above my stomach, I guess. And then I usually do the right side first, but I just take the top of this panel and I'm gonna stretch it over my shoulder and get it nice and even. And this is going to affect the comfort a lot once you have everything on getting the panels nice and even now. It's going to distribute the weight over your shoulders and your back better if everything's spread out evenly and there's not twists or stuff in it. So now that we have this over our shoulder, I like to bring this over the top of this panel. A lot of people take it under the bottom. Either way it's fine, but if you do it under the bottom and then you take it over this shoulder like this, you just put both of these panels through here. I personally like to take it over the top of this panel. And then I put this over my shoulder, get it nice and spread out, and then I put this through here. It doesn't make a huge difference either way, that's just how I find myself doing it. So now both sides are even, we both have both over our shoulders, it's crossed in the back, the tag is still in the center over our stomachs. The Solly wrap isn't quite as stretchy as the boba wrap, so I do like to get it a little bit adjusted here for having enough room for the baby. It's easier to do it now than once you're trying to put them in it. If you have watched my Moby wrap tutorial, you'll see that I get quite a bit of space in right here. But since the Solly wrap is a little bit stretchier, I'm not gonna get quite as much. Especially since the Solly wrap is thinner, so 
If you don't get it tight enough on the baby, it will start to sag and they'll get too low and you'll have to take them out and redo everything. But to loosen it, I just pull back here so it scoots some over my shoulders. And I don't really need more room than this. That feels pretty good. You will start to get the feel for it once you have done this several times, taking your baby in and out. You'll kind of get to know how much you need. So now, these two panels coming down here, we're going to cross them in the front like this. And I like to bunch them up so that they're all together. And you don't want to pull on this too hard. I just kind of gently drape them around to my back because we already have this, the tightness that we want. So you don't want to like jerk on it really hard. But I just have this around here to my back. And I'm just going to cross it. And depending on how big you are, you can tie it in the back, but the solly wrap is really long. So for most people, you're going to be able to bring it around to the front and tie it here. So the pocket's on this side. So I like to bring it further to this side so the pocket's closer to me. So this, this strand will be shorter. And then I just tie it in a knot. So you know, I have two strands and the one with the pocket shorter so it's closer to my hand. So now it's all tied and this feels really good. So now I'm gonna put my son in it. Before you put your baby in, hello, you're gonna to wanna to find the panel that goes underneath. So you see this panel is on top and this panel goes underneath it like this. I'm gonna put him on this shoulder and put his leg through the bottom panel first. I'll put him over the shoulder like I'm gonna burp him. I kind of position his leg with this hand and I pull this out with this hand. And then I can slide his leg through that. And then you wanna stretch this over his butt and over his shoulder. And now I try to make sure that the fabric is going from knee to knee. When you're all done getting your baby in here, you want their knees higher than their butt. So I like to make sure this fabric is stretched from knee to knee and that just helps bring their knees up more. So now we're going to get him in the other side. I hold his leg with this hand and stretch with this hand and put his little foot through. And then same thing, I'm going to lift him up a little bit while I stretch this over his butt and his shoulder. And then you're going to reach down here and you're going to find that panel that goes over your stomach that we did the first thing with. And then you're going to put his feet through it. Just like that. And then you can kind of stretch it up over his back. And now you can see there's the tag that we started with. And then I like to kind of loosen this a little bit so that I can fit his head in it when he falls asleep. And now that feels really good and secure. He feels like he could be in this for a long time. I can take him in and out, and he's not gonna sag down a lot because I've gotten it tight enough. It will take you some practice to know how to get it to the tightness you want it the first time. And it's also gonna change as your baby gets older. So now that we have our baby in the wrap, we're just gonna keep in mind a few safety things. You want them close enough to kiss, so he is really nice and close to my face. I can easily kiss him. You also want to make sure that their airway is not obstructed. So you don't want them facing you. You don't want their chin down inside the wrap or you can't see their mouth and nose. So once he falls asleep, I will tuck his head over into one side and you can see, I can still see his mouth and nose even while he's sleeping. Now while he's awake, he does like to chew on this fabric and that's okay, especially since he's old enough that he can hold his own head up and he's almost able to sit up by himself. But when he was a newborn, I made sure that he didn't lean over like this and he wasn't allowed to chew on the fabric as a newborn. I would just tuck his head in and make sure that he was nice and secure like that. And then also, I like to keep an eye on where their knees are. So as I said before, you want their knees above their butt. This is just a lot better for their hips and their back. It can be pretty uncomfortable for them if their knees are lower and their legs are just like dangling down there. Read up on psychological baby wearing, but having their knees lower than their butt can cause hip dysplasia and issues later so I definitely keep an eye on this a lot and as he's in this for a long time I just keep checking to make sure that his knees haven't fallen down and you can adjust it you can kind of lift lift up his knees like this and pull them up and then you can also kind of tuck this fabric underneath their butt so it's kind of scooped under and so you want their legs in kind of an M position so you want to be able to go from their feet to their knees and then down to their butt like an M like that and that looks really good. You can see here's my pocket and I can just take my phone and put it right in there and it's nice and secure. I absolutely love the pocket feature on this. A lot of my slings have it too and I wish that more wraps had it. This is the only one so far that I've used that has had a pocket. And so that is how you wrap your baby in the Solly Wrap. Now this is the hug hold and there is some different holds that you can do for your baby. There's newborn hold and there's also a hip hold. 
I will do more tutorials on, on those for you guys so you can see how to do those. But this is just the basic cup hold. I highly, highly recommend baby wearing. You can just get so much stuff done. And don't get discouraged if your baby doesn't seem to absolutely love it the first time you put him in it. Even now, even though he's been worn for most of his naps for the whole six months of his life. But then once he calms down a little bit and starts to fall asleep, he loves it and he sleeps so much longer than he would on his own. He also likes it when I bounce on our exercise ball. That's his favorite thing. But just don't get discouraged if they don't just totally fall asleep as soon as you put a minute. It takes them a little to get used to. Don't give up too easily. Just keep trying, keep practicing with tying it and getting in it and getting it really comfortable and you'll get more and more confident and your baby will get used to it and you won't be sorry that you kept trying. So to take them out is really really easy. All I do is I take this panel over his back that has a tag and I slide it under his butt like this and then while I support his butt I'm going to slide these two panels over to the sides. You want to make sure that you're supporting their weight the whole time you're doing this so they don't if they're sagging down it's going to make it a lot harder to pull those panels out of the way and then also they could fall and hurt themselves so then after you have those panels out of the way i just grab under his arms and pull him out just like that and another thing i love about these wraps is that they're so lightweight it's almost like another shirt so a lot of times i will just tie this in the morning and leave it on all day I can breastfeed with this on because I can just either lift this up or down and lift my shirt up or down. And so if you are having a hard time with tying and you can get, if you can just get it on right the first time and then leave it on all day and you don't have to worry about tying it for all three or four of their naps or how many naps they're taking at that point. So yeah, I hope this video is helpful for you guys. And again, don't forget to check out my baby wearing playlist. And if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd be super happy to answer any that you have. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.